Well, for supper I'm going to make a porcupine pie, but the first thing I got to get some porcupine out and get a tan. I had three bags there, I'll take out the biggest one. Uh, that'll be enough. Uh, you know, this is precious stuff, I kind of got to spare this line a little bit. Well, I've been looking forward to this for a while, and uh, for supper I'm going to make porcupine pie. And right here I'm heating up a bit of vegetable oil in the cast iron pot. Now it's a bit of salt pork. Now I thought the oil was a little hotter than what it is, but bizarre, right? Now we just added some salt beef. Stir it around a little bit. Next we add a large onion. Now I'm going to uh, add the porcupine. And right here, uh, is a backbone piece. Like I mentioned before, you know, it reminds me a lot of a turkey neck, that piece still. And pelvic bone piece there, and a uh, bit of the backbone with the ribs there. And pieces of the leg meat. And more leg meat there, leg bone. This meat I trimmed off with a something, and that's the sternum right there. Let me waste it and shoulder blade right here now one thing with this uh in the pie there won't be any bones so i gotta well cook it so i can separate the meat from the bones i got it on there now and that's frying in that uh beef and salt pork and onions and this is this is a real uh, flavor creator right, right there the raw flavor is being made to so you let that fry out and render out and looking for my salt shaker, so now I'm going to uh, add some salt, like that. And while I'm looking for the pepper, just look at the fat on that porcupine. This is what makes the porcupine so good. All that fat makes the gravy really rich and tasty. And right here, I got a bit of pepper. Now this old pepper shaker again, got a big hole, so I always got to be careful with this one. Just a little bit over the top, like that. Well, I must say, I wish uh, it had smell vision The smell coming out of this uh, pot is unbelievable. And, you know, we're just getting started here, too. And just rendering out the fat of that meat, let it fry out. See all that fat there? Turn that over there. Let all that fry out. And right here uh, is some greens uh, that I grow in the garden and steamed down there last year. I just got that in some water right now so that tie a bit quicker. I'm telling you now too, if you had a, a fresh slice of bread and just rub it across the bottom of that pot, that is tasty stuff down there. Yeah, that meat is uh, fried out pretty good. And right here, I got a dipper of boiling water. I'm just gonna add this in. Now I'm just gonna let this well cook so I can separate the, you know, the meat from the bones. All right, now I'm gonna add some turnip. Now we're going to add some carrot. And give her a stir. Now we're going to add some cabbage greens. And <coughs> potato. Alright, uh, for the pie crust, uh, for the porcupine pie, I'm going to get the recipe from the Makovic Community cookbook and there's two different ones in there and the first one I'm going to show is uh, this is the one that the mother-in-law uses when she makes the, the rabbit pie and I'm just going to hold the camera there and like that and if you want to you can press pause and write down these ingredients and you have this one and there's another one right here as well for a deer meat pie and for the crust three cups of flour half a cup of shortening a half a teaspoon of salt and a half a cup of water and uh, I'm going to go with this one because anyone knows my style of cooking, I go with simplicity. Simple, you know, this one got a couple of less ingredients, and so this is what I'm going to go with. All right, so I'm getting uh, the ingredients together here. So I've got a half a teaspoon here for the salt, half a cup for the water. And this here is exactly a cup of uh, shortening, uh, vegetable shortening. So I guess it's a little healthier than the old fashioned fashion shortening. <laughs> And right here, I'm going to need three cups of flour. And this here is going to be the pie dish I'm using. It's a bit deep, perfect for making uh, meat pies. Okay, now we're going to make the pie crust. And, uh, 
First we need three cups of flour. Teaspoon of salt. And here's the cup shortening. And I gotta mix that in with the flour. This could take a while because I'm gonna do it the old-fashioned way with a fork. <laughs> so I gotta get there. all this together so make sure it all mixed really really well all right now we got a half a cup of water I'm just gonna plank her down there and grab the bowl and just work roughly half of up there this one might be a little tiny bit smaller I'll save you for the top this one going to bottom Perfect, so now the play cross is ready. Oh yeah. Ready to rock and roll. Now put the lid right there. Now the, what I'm gonna do, what I need for the pie, I'm gonna put it in this dipper right here first. And I'm gonna put the plate right here. Because the porky pie, I gotta separate some of the meat from the bones. So I'll just I have a piece of porcupine on the plate right there and all the juice and vegetables and there's literally just all meat, no bones in it. I'll put that down here as well. That. When I'm moving to the, the porcupine putting it on the plate here, you can see the meat's pretty much falling off the bones. I'll show that in a second there. Oh my. Well, I guess I'm going to have a wonderful supper, but with all this I'm going to have a good dinner tomorrow as well. Look at this leg bone here, and just look, look at all the meat there, just, look at that, coming right off of that bone. And look, all that meat, I'll go right in the dipper, and this is going to go right in the pie. Oh, look at that. Open up. Look at that. And look at all this here, look at that, coming right off the bones, huh? Oh, falling right off the bones. And you know, you make a pie with moose or anything, you haven't... Be good too, you know, and you won't have any bones to deal with, but but the fattiness of this porcupine is just gonna make this all super good. Oh, that's plenty of liquid, yeah. Oh my. What am I doing myself for cooking this much? Look at that. That was pretty much the perfect amount. And you can see a nice bit of a nice bit of liquid there. Look at that, oh my. Fit for a king, as they would say. Bam. <laughs> Gotta have a little taste test of the stew here. Look at that salt beef, a bit of turnip and potato. Oh, that is also good. The pelvic bone right here. Oh man. Mmm, that cost me really nice. Just before I took the pie out of the oven, I seen a picture on Facebook. Uh, someone just made a, a caribou pie. 
I wish I had the time back because they, they made like a real fancy edge run across. But there's always something uh, to learn from the next time around. Well, you know, I must say that is really, really, really good. But I guess that's it for this one, though. Really appreciate y'all watching. Take care. All the best from the big man. Mm.